David, tell me about the morning that you woke up and realized that you were awesome at springer fishing. <laughs> I don't think so. everyone so it's April 25th it's 4 30 in the morning got a pretty cool trip planned for today I'm gonna go meet up with uh, another YouTube fisherman here in Portland area his name is David Pyle I'm sure most of you guys know who he is he's a uh, really good spring Chinook fisherman I'm gonna go out and we're gonna chase some spring Chinook and see if we can't get one in the box and Supposed to get up to 70 degrees today, I think. Right now it's pretty cold. It's in the 40s, 4.40 in the morning. All right, we're gonna go meet up with David now, but uh, first things first. Go have a great morning. Perfect, thank you very much. fishing with David Pyle. This is my first Willamette River Springer and this thing is just a beautiful fish. It's a toad. It's at least 15 pounds. Oh I can't be happier. I'm shaking. Congratulations Nick. First nice fish, fish to tag this year. Nice. Awesome. All right guys so we're out here trolling on the Willamette for Springers and uh, David's gonna show you real quick what we're doing and uh, how we're doing it. Okay, I'm using a 4 aught and a 3 aught for my hooks, and um, in this case, a cut plug herring, using a template, cutting it on the Chinook side. Sometimes I cut it on the coho side, just to kind of give it a different roll. And um, anyway, once it's cut, I'm basically, there's a long side, short side. I tend to go through the short side, and I want to come out as deep as I can down here on the side. You don't want it coming up near the top. Deep as I can and gently I try to pull that hook set through, put my thumb on the meat and kind of wiggle it through so I don't blow out too big of a hole on the side. Some guts came through but not too bad. And then um, I'm, I run two different styles of hooks so I've got on half of the boat I run one way and another half I run the other. So sometimes, in this case, I'll come through the short side to the long side, and then sometimes from the long side to the short. In this case, I'm just gonna go short to long, and I go diagonal across that bone. And I wanna come out close to the front with this hook. If I don't do that, it'll have a big tail wag, and you don't want that. You want it to spin uh, really sharp like a drill bit. And so, um, We'll throw that in the water, but we, in this case, we're using a 42-inch leader. 
with a standard fish flash today. Um, this one has already caught a fish and 150 pound bumper line on the front of that with 10 ounces of weight. So I'll drop this in the water. Always want to go in really slow. Best, the best approach is to grab everything with one hand the sinker, your line, your bumper, and with your other hand, you hold your herring. Drop in the herring in first. And keep the tip up. Always, as you're dropping your weight in, and you want to keep the tip up high. You don't want to drop that, otherwise, you're going to tangle your gear. Okay, so we're going to bring up our fish, make sure we've got the appropriate roll. Got a nice tight roll there with our green. By the way, this is a green label herring, besides being stained green, but maybe you want to get a close up on how that's rolling. Yeah, I'm getting that right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then out here in the Willamette River, it's typically 10 ounces, 10 poles is uh, pretty standard. That's what we got our fish on, so um, that's how we roll some herring on the Willamette River. Nice job, David. Thank you, sir. Nice job, man. You got this fish for me. Nice. Appreciate it. Perfect. Perfect. Look how bright that thing is. Uh. Nice springer. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching this episode. Uh, big thanks to David here for bringing me out on his boat today. Um, we had a great time. We had great weather. We actually caught two fish, which is amazing. It was my first Willamette Springer that I've ever caught. So I'm super stoked about that. Finally got a tag of fish. And man, I just couldn't be any happier. So if you guys aren't already subscribed to David's channel, please check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. He has a lot of great videos, a lot of great tutorials, a lot of educational videos, and he catches a ton of fish, you guys. So check him out. You'll learn a lot. Thanks, David. Hey, thank you, Nick. Um, Nick did a great job today. He uh, he guided us into two fish, and um, I was just a spectator along for the ride, pretending that I knew what I was doing. He did all the work. Yeah. Anyway, um, awesome job today. Uh, fantastic to catch Springer with a good friend, and um, you know, uh, enjoy the YouTube channels, and hope you guys get out and catch some fish too. It's Springer's happening now, and we have through now through the end of June, the Willamette River should really produce some fish. So hopefully. You guys can get out and get something too. All right, take care, guys.